Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Well, since our last, uh, our, my last video at Fort Stevens, way up here on the Washington, Oregon coastline, um, we've been making uh, some serious tracks south, 652 miles all the way down into California near Sacramento, and we're staying at uh, the Cash Creek Casino. So we've made several stops along the way, and I thought on this video I'd just show you uh, a look at each of the stops we did. Um, well, actually, all of them were free, which is nice, and they all had pretty nice locations for free campsites. Uh, we did a museum, two casinos now, and also a camping world. So our first stop, we headed in from the coast. Um, we wanted to get down south this year to a little warmer weather, and so we forgo the windy coastline um, roadway there. I didn't think it'd be great for Anne and her, her sore shoulders and stuff, so I thought I'd get over to I-5 and take a quick shot down to California where it was warmer. So we headed across here and stopped at a place we had been to before. I'll link the video from that time in the description, but we'll give you a quick look at the Evergreen Aviation Space Museum. And you can see here, um, it's a beautiful space museum. I highly recommend it. Uh, or It's an aviation and space museum. In here it has the the Spruce Goose, the, the big huge plane that Howard Hughes flew the one time, and then the Space Museum is over here. Also has a Wings and Waves water park. Um, but the, the place you can overnight, they give you two nights of overnighting while you're visiting the, the museum. And right back in here, we parked right up against this uh, kind of treed park area. People would come and walk their dogs and stuff, and it was just full of birds. Um, being fall, the leaves are falling, so it was quite pretty. I have a few photos from around the museum grounds that I took. Um, you can walk around and see lots of the planes are, are on the outside. They've got a bunch of jet fighters right here in front. Um, they got big jumbo jet 747 sitting on top of the Wings and Wave Water Park, which is really, <laughs> really neat to see. So we stayed there for two nights and really enjoyed it. And, and then headed off south to another spot we had been to before. Moved down there, headed over to Interstate 5, connected up to it, and started heading straight south down the valley. I think it's the Wyamut Valley of Oregon, which is a nice drive. There's a lot of nice farmland you drive through. And we got down, as we started to get into the mountains, our next stop was the Seven Feathers here. We'll zoom into there. It's near Canyonville. It's just as you start to leave the valley and get more into a mountainous terrain. There we go. It's a, a nice big casino complex. On this side over here, they have a uh, truck stop, a big fuel station. Really, probably some of the lowest price fuel along the way that you can get. And the camping is they do have actually a big fancy RV park right in the back here it's really high end has a pool and everything but if you're just into overnighting like we were and some cheap camping back here they allow five days in this back dry lot here so we parked in behind a tree here and again pretty nice view into some farmland lots of birds around a little noisy because you're close to the the interstate and the truck stop and that but uh, no problem at all we had a good good stay there then we moved on this was the the biggest drive of our of our journey down here we left there and we went over um, the Siskiyou Pass and over near uh, Mount Shasta there you can see Shasta there you come up the Siskiyou so there's quite a few grades to pull um, no problem for our new truck at all. We were up and down those without with just a breeze. Towing's great with that new truck, so not a problem there. Then we came down the other side and headed down, down, down. It was getting pretty late by then, but we were into the, the Central Valley of California, so decided to stop at this camping world because they offered uh, free dry camping in their parking lot as well. It's right by the interstate, so it's really if the traffic bugs you it's not a good bet but it doesn't bother us and you can see right in here so we camped right in this parking lot space here 
They do have some hookups over here. I think they have two spots where they have some full hookups, but because they use this area, you have to be out of there before 8 a.m., they said. Um, but over here, you, you could, it was okay. You could stay there longer. So we, we camped overnight there and uh, got up fairly early in the morning and continued on. And that's where we went down to the Cache Creek Casino that we currently are. So this is straight down Interstate 5. Not in here, the traffic's not very bad. There's no major cities at all. So it's just a lot of fairly flat, um, boring travel, but you got to do it. Get down here to this Cache Creek. You can kind of see in here, it leaves Interstate 5 and goes into the hill country here. And this is a new one for us. We haven't been here before, but I've, it's been recommended by by a few people to us. Um, one thing they, they say is, and we found out is true, when you sign up for their casino card, um, they give you $25 that you can use anywhere, not for slot play, but you can use it for any of the food or even the fuel station. So we both signed up and got 50 bucks and we went in there and, and had a nice uh, Chinese food dinner really really nice casino with, with really good food good restaurants the chinese food was top notch and they also if you uh get their app and download you can get ten dollars of slot play if you're into that as well but a unique thing is where the rvs are parked right now i guess they're building a new tower or something so uh they've got everybody parked as far as the rvs right up on this dirt lot and you can see it's got quite the view. You're up above everything, so you get a really nice view down into the valley. And you're allowed, they asked them how long we could stay, and they said uh, three nights was the term. And, and we didn't have to register or anything. <clears throat> Just park up there out of the way. I'll give you a bit of a view around here. I took a little bit of video footage. Um, give you a 360 view. I went up on top of the rig and uh, spun around. It's really quite a quite a pretty valley. Um, in the back they have a golf course. Uh, so yeah, great stopover. So that's the update so far. We've made it down. It's been really warm when we landed in Redding, California. It was 86 degrees Fahrenheit out, and the last few days have been above 70, so we've been really enjoying the, the sunshine and warm weather. Now we're going to um, travel further down the valley. We've got a, a, some friends of ours that live near uh, San Francisco and San Jose, not in the cities, but just outside the cities, and, and they've invited us to come to their uh, properties for a visit, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna continue on. Should be in the desert sometime towards the end of the month. And uh, we've got a stay booked at a, a pretty nice place. Uh, looking forward to that. We're going to go down into Death Valley and stay there a week. So you can look forward to it for a video from that. I'm also getting a few items sent to me for review. So we'll, we'll get off the travel portion of it for a while and maybe review a few items and give you a few tips videos. Until next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.